Listen to the gospel of our Lord found in Matthew's gospel, the fifth chapter. When Jesus saw the people, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him, and then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. And blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And let the words, let us pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be pleasing and acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, our rock and redeemer. Amen. First, I need to explain what Jesus is doing sitting down. Now, in the West, we preachers stand to preach, and we have pulpits, and we declare the gospel standing. But in the East, this is not the position of the teacher. The teacher or the preacher, the position is not standing, but sitting. That's why in our college next to us, if a professor is granted a great uh, reward or privilege or honor, they are given a chair, defining that their importance to the institution and that they are a profound teacher. Now, the chair is not a physical chair, but it's a title. And that title says that they are a teacher. So when Jesus is about to say something very important, he sits down. Give you another example. This is the Sermon on the Mount. He is seated. When they brought the woman who was caught in adultery and wanted to stone her, they asked Jesus what they should do. And Jesus sits down and looks up at them and says, the one without sin throws the first stone. When Jesus sits in the gospel, pay attention, when he sits down, something very important is going to be said. Uh, again, Jesus is very Jewish, and he is also of the Eastern culture, not the West. Oh, I want to just say a couple other things about sitting. The word cathedral is from, uh, comes from the word cathedra, which in Latin means chair. The cathedral is where the bishop's chair is and where the chair of authority 
that he leads his flock. And again, I'm speaking of the classical church, and it is a he anyway. So we use that word, but it, it, Jesus physically sits, and that is the place of authority. Or another way to talk about it, kings and queens have thrones, the place of authority. And when the bishop, or when uh, the pope speaks with authority, he's always sitting. Same principle. Way, way too much on that, but that's okay. Uh, blessed are these people, the poor, those that mourn, the meek, the hungry, the merciful, the pure in heart, the peacemaker, the one being persecuted is blessed. Now we love the Beatitudes, but most of us do not want to be thought of as the poor and the meek, especially we in this country, and that we sometimes don't want to think of ourselves as being hungry and thirsty. Jesus is speaking to these people that are following him and hanging on to every word. And he's saying not only to his disciples, but ordinary human beings that suffer, that hunger, that mourn, that want a better world. The downtrodden that they are the blessed, the ones beloved, cared for by God. Now, he's speaking this blessing to people that the world would never call blessed. For in the world, the blessed are the powerful, the rich, the, um, the ones that do not suffer pain or conscience, but are above it all. But those who long for a better day are blessed. The word meek here uh, in the French translation of these words, in the classical French, the word meek is debonair. And to be debonair is to be gentle and uh, gracious. I think of Fred Astaire as debonair and uh, it means how carefully you step, whether we're talking about dance or life, into the world, or how we carefully care for our partners as we enter the world. And those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, that word righteousness has become such a churchy word that uh, when the um, translators of the Jerusalem Bible got to the Old Testament word that is translated righteousness, they didn't use the churchy word, but they used the word integrity and said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for right living for faithfulness, for truthfulness, for the absence of the lie. And again, to those who do not feel blessed, Jesus gives them the assurance that they will see God. Now this is uh, All Saints uh, Sunday. And All Saints is always done on the 1st of November, or again, as we said last week, 
the reason why Halloween is, is it's All Holy Eve. All Saints is when uh, the church throughout the centuries has remembered those who have gone before them. And we will remember today the, uh, our beloved members that have gone before us in the past year. But you cannot walk around this sanctuary without seeing names everywhere you go. The Colibarium is here, and the reason why the Colibarium is in the sanctuary is that's where the saints do gather. But everywhere you look, there is somebody being remembered in this sacred place. Their names are witnesses of the faith of the past. Now we will talk, uh, we will, uh, as I mentioned in the children's time and the sacred word time, saints little, literally means in Greek, holy ones. And in the Greek, a saint is anyone who is a follower of God. And so in the Old Testament, especially, this word holy one can be referred to not only individuals, people, but the holy one is God. And we holy ones are followers of God. Our, our holiness comes with our association with the, heaven, the God of heaven and earth. We stand on this day with those who have gone before us, not only in remembrance, but in a profound way that we stand with them in the kingdom of God. Their presence with us is always a reminder of the great cloud of witnesses that ever encourage us to continue the faith in which they gave us. So in this life, if you feel overwhelmed, hear the words of Jesus, blessed. Blessed are them that have gone before us, and blessed are we who follow in their footsteps. Let us pray. God of grace, you have given us so much, but on this day, we thank you for those who showed us the way, who witnessed to a better world than the world we live in, who cared for us, loved us, nurtured us, and told us the stories of Jesus that we love to hear. Amen.